you, Austin. One year ago today, George Floyd was killed on a patch of Minnesota pavement. The video of former police officer Derek Chauvin kneeling on Floyd's neck ignited outrage and demands for change worldwide. NBC's Dan Shinneman looks back at how the life of Floyd was celebrated and the impact of his death is still being felt. Put your uh, hands please, off please, right now. One year after George Floyd's death outraged the country. It was time to remember. In Minneapolis, silence for nine minutes and 29 seconds. The time a Minneapolis police officer had his knee on Floyd's neck. We are here. And it's been a year. It's been a troubling year. A long year. But we made it. In New York, the city's mayor and other leaders took a knee alongside Reverend Al Sharpton. As we took that knee, imagine how long that was on a human being's neck. The family of George Floyd met with President Biden at the White House. He showed um, concern and um, I think genuinely he wanted to know exactly how we were doing and um, what he could do to support us. After the meeting, the Floyd family raised a fist. George Floyd. And said his name, a name that has not been forgotten. Dan Sheneman, NBC News. And the River City is taking a step towards eliminating racism tonight. The city council approved 20 people to be members of a new committee dedicated to racial equity. And under the guidance of Mayor Rita Alley, the city's first black mayor, the commission members now go to the county board for a vote. One new member is still in high school and she says she jumped at the opportunity to make an impact in her community been a victim of, you know, a lot of disparities in the Peoria area and the Dunlap area, especially being, you know, a Muslim and black and a woman. So, you know, it's definitely something that is really close to my heart. And Nala says another factor that pushed her to apply for the commission was the rate of segregation in Peoria. A Wall Street study last year named Peoria one of the top